नमस्कार हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर दिनेश सवनेस एजीएम स्पोर्ट्स एंड एक्टिविटी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट आर स्कूल अशोका ग्रुप ऑफ स्कूल्स वेर वी हैव बीन टेकिंग लॉर्ड ऑफ एफर्ट्स इन बैलेंसिंग द डाइट एंड मेंटेनिंग द कैलरीज ऑफ आर स्टूडेंट्स एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अ लिटल बिट ऑफ टिप्स अबाउट हाउ टू इट Why do it? What do it? Through my session called Eat Healthy, Stay Healthy. Healthy eating or healthy way of eating. What is it? A balance of all the nutrients. What is required by the body? Which are the major nutrients that are required by the body? The nutrients, or rather, the major nutrients, are categorized. into proteins carbohydrates fats vitamins and minerals which also covers importance of water and all this is what we are going to cover in this particular session in this particular lecture i hope by end of this lecture you are aware about the various roles that are being played by the nutrients on our body and as if we are able to balance this nutrients as per the requirement of the percentage our body is always going to stay healthy and energetic now in nutrients the first nutrient or the major nutrient or the major percentage what we need to consume is carbohydrate what is carbohydrate carbohydrate gives us energy carbohydrate is through which the glycogen gets stored in our body and that glycogen is being utilized by the body for performing the daily activity or sports activity or whichever activity you are doing in your regular lifestyle and that's the reason the percentage of carbohydrate plays a vital role then comes proteins what is proteins the second category or next to carbohydrate the most of the percentage of your food requires protein protein is important because it develops our muscle fiber it develops our body so the balance of protein is as equal the way we go with the carbohydrate and then comes the fat it's always said that we don't want fats but that's a myth we require fats because fats is the second most energy consuming next to carbohydrate fats gives us balanced temperature for the body and that's the reason fats are required but the percentage of the fats that are required by the body in comparison to carbohydrates and protein is always less vitamins and minerals play again an important role because they are said to be the boosters of the body without it, without vitamins and minerals we can't consume the major nutrients and of course when we talk about water water again plays a vital role for balancing whatever diet we eat the energy what we need so water again plays a vital role so when we talk about nutrition it covers carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins minerals which also is you know water is part of it that's what we will go and understand what is it how is it and why is it what do you see now that's a foot pyramid this foot pyramid is a triangle and why is it triangle if you see in the triangle the base is big and the top is small and this foot pyramid tells you about what item or which food item you need to eat maximum 
and which food item you need to eat minimum and that is what this food pyramid is talking about in this food pyramid you see at the bottom the brown layer second or when i say bottom brown layer brown layer is all about wheat item the cereals right then comes the second layer that is about fruits and vegetables then comes third layer that is dairy products chicken mutton fish and eggs and the top is layer which talks about the junk food the junk food which we should ideally avoid if you can't avoid try to minimize it this junk food is made up of all too tasty but very unhealthy like sodas or cold drink chocolates cakes which we should avoid if possible even the oily food the most oily foods the fried foods which is unhealthy yes and that is what this food pyramid is talking about what the most you need to eat and what the least you need to eat in food pyramids the bottom most layer as i said brown layer which covers food grains or cereals this particular layer is with full of carbohydrates full of energy and that's the reason this layer talks about the maximum the maximum percentage of your food what you eat as i said carbohydrates gives you energy and this energy comes from this bottom layer food grains and cereals are the ones which are covered in this layer which are those we have brown wheat we have brown rice we have brown bread and also we can say complex or brown wheat pasta and that's what this bottom layer of food pyramids talk about second most layer in the pyramid talks about vegetables and fruits this layer is also very important because it gives us the balance of carbohydrates and proteins it's one of the important layer for balancing the diet what is it in this particular layer as i said we have lots of vegetables lots of fruits for example green peas gives us proteins potato gives us lots of carbohydrate various vegetables has various percentage of carbohydrate and proteins and that's the reason to balance a combination of carbs or carbohydrate and proteins vegetable and fruits plays major role a vital role in our diet so now we will be talking about the third layer in the food pyramid in this third layer we have dairy products which covers milk it is always said milk is a healthy one why is it healthy why should we consume milk milk is important because it gives you lot of proteins by now you are aware what role protein plays it develops body it develops the muscle fiber and that's what this particular layer is connected with as i said dairy products so it covers milk it covers cheese it covers butter and many more even paneer is one of it and when i say non veg products it's chicken it's fish it's mutton and it's egg all these products comes into the third layer of the food pyramid with lots of abundance of protein and this layer also plays a major role in our diet and now we will talk about the topest layer of food pyramid which consists of fats what is in this product or this particular top layer we have sodas or the way we say cold drink we have chocolates we have cakes and we have lot of oily food wow 
you feel like eating it right but honestly this is the one which we should avoid to stay healthy you can eat it but it has to be minimized you can't consume this item more because if you consume this item more it is going to affect your body it will really affect and that's the reason i'm telling you please either avoid it or minimize it this particular top layer consists of fats and oil as i said fats are important but not highly required like carbohydrates and proteins so if possible minimize it we just covered the complete food pyramid and the major nutrients that are required for the body but with this major nutrients we also have the way we say micronutrients which is part of vitamins and minerals even the water intake or the importance of water is also which we need to understand when it comes to the diet or nutrition what is the vitamins and minerals playing the role of they are the boosters without them we can't absorb the major nutrients in our body for example d vitamin is very important without it we can't absorb calcium so when we go with the major nutrients like carbohydrates proteins fats it's also important that we focus on vitamins and minerals if i talk about the water 70% of the body is water and if we don't have water and if our body gets dehydrated it will impact our performance of daily living and if you are a sports person your performance it is always said how much water should we intake should it be 2 liter should it be 3 liter well it is always said the point you get thirsty you have already dehydrated your body by 4% so consuming water consistently not too much but little or if i need to put it in ml approximately 100 ml to 150 ml every half an hour or one hour will do too much of consumption of water can also impact the performance of your kidney and that's the reason the water intake has to be consistent you should not go with too much of water and that's what i'm talking about the balance of various nutrients major nutrients minor nutrients water all this together keeps us healthy so to conclude this session i wish to again emphasize that diet and a balanced diet plays a very vital role in our life we if we are just going to focus on exercise and not on the diet and vice versa only on the diet and not exercise it is not going to work the way we say we need healthy balanced diet similarly you need to give it a combination of exercise whether it can be a just a brisk walking or it can be a jog or working out in the gym but you need to balance it with the diet what you eat today i tried to cover the most of the important tips and the roles that are being played by the diet on your body and if you are able to balance it with the exercise it's going to create a magic a magic of health a magic of fitness a magic of consistency in your regular daily routine so diet is important exercise is important if you go with it you will stay healthy and if you stay healthy there will be always performance in your work in your sports it is also the way we say 
diet plays a very vital role in whatever age we are. We may be a children, we may be adolescents, we may be adult and we may be senior citizen. But this diet is going to affect whatever age you are into. A combination or a little percentage up and down of proteins and carbs are something that is going to change according to the category which you belong to. When I say category, I'm talking about the age category. So remember healthy diet, good diet, balanced diet is very very important. Remember how much you eat doesn't matter. What you eat do matter. Okay? So with this note, I thank you for listening to me with all this patience and this eagerness. God bless you. Namaskar.